Welcome, in front of me is a Apple Find X 5 Pro and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with these, this hello screen right here and all you really need to do is tap on the narrow. Find your desired language from the list, which for me it's actually selected a correct one, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. Let's go to the next page, which allows us to select our region. This will define our time zone. Next page, legal information. So, you see, I will select that I agree to them, the first two. You can tap on this little eye icon right here to read exactly what you're going to be agreeing to. Then on the next page, we have the option to insert our SIM card. We also have an uh, option to use a eSIM, if that is something that you utilize. I don't, so I'm just going to disregard it. And Additionally, uh, you can insert a SIM card at any point throughout the setup process. It really doesn't make, make much of a difference. The only reason why it is here is for the purpose of logging into Google account. So you can use either a SIM card or a Wi-Fi to have that option. If you choose to skip both of them, uh, you just lose the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup process. So I'm going to select next completely disregarding it and i'll also skip wi-fi assuming i can which looks like i can so on the next page we have google services so we have location scanning and then sending user and diagnostic data so to quickly go into them the first one the location is just gps tracking for your device so as an example google maps can use your location to give you an accurate route to your destination then below that, the scanning option uh, is just allowing the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And below that, send user and diagnostic data allows Google to gather data on you and send it to themselves, which is a bit creepy, so no thanks. Now, next page, we have option to select what kind of nav navigation we prefer. So we have the typical buttons right here, or we can use gestures if that is something that you prefer to utilize. And it is something that I prefer much more, so I'll be sticking with that. And here we can set up some kind of protection to our device. So you can set up fingerprint, face recognition, and uh, then you can also set up pin pattern or password. Now to quickly go into this, if you're planning to use something like a fingerprint and or face recognition, you are always required to also set up pin, pattern, or password. The reason for this is if something would happen to your fingerprint, oh, like your finger itself, or maybe your face, or the sensor, camera, you have still a way to access your device using just like a typical uh, pattern, pin, or password. So I'm going to actually set up a pattern right here, just so you can see. There we go. And that's about it. Oh, nope, never mind. The device is locked, so I'll warn you, I'm going to get probably to the end where it says finish, and it's going to take me back to Wi-Fi connection just because I need to verify the Google account, which I need to log into my uh, Wi-Fi for that. So this will be as close as I can, I get, I guess, get to the setup. Anyway, from here we have some recommended auto update overnight. If you want to utilize that, go right ahead and turn it on. It will just update your device uh, throughout the night. And as you can see, there is the uh, get started. So once you press on this, it will take you to your home screen. Now for me, if I'm correct, it will take me actually to the home screen. So I'm not sure why I didn't, up, didn't set the, uh, the pattern. But anyway, this is how you could go through the setup of this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.